We broke the world. Our early experiments in time travel released massive amounts of chronal radiation into the time stream with devastating results. As the particles traveled back through time, they altered countless seemingly insignificant decisions throughout history. But where causality is concerned, nothing is insignificant. The result is the radioactive nightmare of a world that lies beyond the protective screens of this facility. If we are to have any hope of restoring the time stream, then we must employ the very cause of the problem itself, time travel. But we must be very cautious, for the risks of direct interference are potentially greater than what we have already faced. We must surgically alter the past, correcting the decisions that were corrupted and leave it to the butterfly effect to restore the future. This is not an easy task, as many, many events were changed. And if we succeed completely, then we may wipe ourselves out of existence. But if humanity is saved, then that is a price worth paying. Fatalities could be worse, 43. Okay, to fix this timeline, all six subjects must be saved, and you are only authorized to alter the decisions they made in the week before they died. Change the right set of decisions, and you save them all. So, let's find somewhere to drop you with no witnesses. Busy. Busy always happens to me. Wait, ah, wait, okay, we got something, 43. It's a few hours afterwards, it looks clean. Mm, it's dark, though. Don't worry, I'll send some lights. Let's get you when and where you need to be. Initiating crossover sequence. Temporal crossover in five seconds. I'll see you on the other side, 43. Three, two, one. Temporal crossover initiated. Temporal crossover complete. Light drones inbound. Light drones crossover complete. Ah, still in one piece, 43. Good. Good, right, okay, let's get you set up. Activate your visualizer. Location, Alderbeck, UK. Temporal reference, 4.03 a.m., 20th of May, 2015. Perfect. Now you'll probably need some boosters, okay? Your system will be checking now. Please place Earth Signal Booster at location indicated on visualizer. Well, what did I say, huh? Okay, 43. You just need to head towards that little white dot on your visualizer. Do you understand?
Please place second signal booster. Please place final signal booster. Activating signal boosters, initiating scan. Scan complete. Corruption detected. Six erroneous fatalities confirmed. Conclusion event determined. Location transfer to visualizer. The system is locked in. Good, good, good. Okay. Go follow the target on your visualizer, and we can see how the story currently ends. should have survived, but time is being corrupted and now they are very, very dead. Stopping the fire would fix all of this, of course, 43, but forecasting is saying this has major repercussions further down the timeline, which is why you are using a scalpel instead of swinging a axe. Analyzing timeline. Evaluating events. Time map available. Ah, good, okay. Open up your time map and I will talk you through it. Here's the end of the time map, 43. The large hexagon is a conclusion event, and you can return here and rewatch it at any time. Small hexagons are the final events for each of the subjects. If you change someone's fate, then both their final event and the conclusion event will change. The white events are all part of the current timeline and can be watched at any time and in any order. The grayed out events are potential events from alternative timelines and cannot currently be watched. If you change a decision which alters the timeline, some events will change state from one to the other. Once you have watched a decision, 43, it will appear on the map as a diamond, so it is easier to find it again later. The portraits at the top will show you who is in each event 
as well as whether they are alive or dead on the current timeline 43. And this is the earliest event on the timeline. Like the rest, it currently has a question mark because it has not yet been watched. On order you can choose any event in any order, 43. Let's just start here for now. Select this event, and I'll check everything is working as it should. Do you understand? Good, we're ready. Let's go. Day one, Wednesday, 0800. Location, Tom's room. I mean, yeah, he's, he's looking better. I'm your friend. Oh, you little Frankie. No. It's not as often. But he's, he's still pulling out his feathers every now and then. Yeah. I talk to the vets. They want to keep him overnight. I just... I just don't know if that will cause him more stress, you know? The decision 43, this is fortunate. You should try and change it, okay? So we can make sure everything is working properly. Yes? Yeah, you're right. They had an appointment for next Tuesday, so I'll book him in for them. So, sorry, that's that's the door. I've got to go. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Cage is gone. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. This means your visualizer is working properly and you're fully able to change the timeline. And as a bonus, the little birdie also gets to live too. <laughs> Everyone's a winner, eh? Anyway, probably best to head back to the time map and select another event. Yes? Day 1, Wednesday, 8.04, Location, Kitchen. Day 2, Thursday, 01.15, Location, Pool Room. Day 3, Friday. 0124. Location, Ben and Jenny's. Day 4, Saturday. Day 5, Sunday. 0050. Day 6, Monday. 0715. Location, Living Room. Day 7, Tuesday.
Day 1, Wednesday, 8.01, Location, Hall. Hiya, you must be Linda. Come in. Ah, oh, thanks. Hiya. Hi. Well, it's good to see you. Oh, and you. It's good to be here. Oh, uh, this is Tom. He's the landlord. Don't know what I would have done without you. Ah, uh, look, I've just got a spare room. That's not all your stuff, is it? Oh, no, there's more in the car. Keys? Right, back in a minute. OK. So, uh, how about a quick tour? Lead on. Day 1, Wednesday, 8.04, Location, Kitchen. And here's the kitchen. Guys, this is Linda. Hi. Linda, Hi. this is Ben and Jenny. Like the ice cream? <laughs> That's us. We're just so sweet, aren't we, honey? Oh, we certainly are. Though, I'm also a bit late for work. Dr. Ben, I presume? Oh, the uniform. Well, that, along with your excellent bedside manner with the young lady in pyjamas. Oh, she called me young. She can stay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't. See you tonight. See you. And I guess I'll see the two of you later as well. Yeah, take it easy, mate. See you. Right, time to see Oram. Day 1, Wednesday, 8.09. Location, Linda's room. And this is you. So, was it? Hmm? The previous tenant, born to rob? Well, he certainly wasn't born to stick around and pay the rent, but I doubt it. Why? He's left his guitar. I'll get rid of it all for you. I know I'm not in Kansas anymore, but my days as a rock chick are way over. <laughs> sure thing, Dorothy. Uh, where'd you want these? Oh, just put them anywhere, Toto. Oh?
Day 1, Wednesday, 8.10. Location, Hall. Hi, Neil. Anything for me in there? Hold on, I'll, um, I'll double check. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, here you go. Cheers. Uh, can I squeeze past? Work. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. See you, Doc. See you, Neil. That's the bathroom, and this is my bedroom. Oh, what a nice view. Morning. 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 Hi. Who was that? I have no idea. Oh, hi. I'm Raquel. You must be... Jealous. Uh, this is um, Linda, my sister. So I guess she knows all your childhood secrets then. Oh, I could tell a tale or two. Leave them alone, you two. Spoil sport. We can talk later. But now, I suppose I'd better go throw some clothes on. Okay.
Day one, Wednesday. So, how have you been? Uh, good, yeah, I mean, pretty good. Nice place. The landlord seems nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, he's pretty cool. I mean, having a pool table in your basement is pretty awesome, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, I suppose it is. So, how's mum and dad? Okay, I guess. You guess? When was the last time you talked to them? Well, last week. Sometime. I think. You think? Right, that, that'll be in. Look, um, I, I've got to go to uni. That's okay. You go. We'll catch up later. Day 1, Wednesday, 8.31, Location, Hall. There you are, we're gonna be late. Sorry. What are you doing up there? Or should that be who? I was just talking. Oh, uh, yeah. To my sister. Oh. Is she hot? Don't even think about it or I'll hurt you. Uh, listen, you can try, yeah? But my granddad learned Kung Fu from Bruce Lee. And then he taught me. Who? Oh, Bruce Lee? No. My granddad. Come on, we gotta go. Yeah. Okay. Day 1, Wednesday, 8.34, location, Ben and Jenny's room. Morning, Ray. So, Zach, he was a fun way to spend a few hours. I know. We heard. Thin walls. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. That's why the speakers are above the bed. In case we have to drown out any wildlife. Really? Now I am sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What's up anyway? Well, I was just seeing Zach out and um... Oh, let me guess. Your door slammed shut on you? Again? Yeah. You got the spare? <laughs> sure. No. Nope. Ah, here we go. Can't have you heading off to uni dressed like that now, can we? Oh, I don't know. You don't think it'd be appreciated? Mm. Go get dressed, you hussy. Love you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Jenny has a spare key to Raquel's room. Excellent, 43. Now we can see what lurks behind the lady's door.
40s here, okay? Now you can watch any events that took place in here. Day 1, Wednesday, 9.01. Location, Vision. Sorry. You ready? Yep. Let's go. You two off? We are. Uni. What are you doing Friday? Oh, yeah, we're having a house party here on Friday. Oh, well, I don't know. You can't just sit in your room. But I don't have anything to wear. You don't need it. Ray and I will be dressing up, but no one else will. But there's got to be something you can borrow from us. <laughs> I'm not going to fit into anything either of you two own. <laughs> we'll figure something out once we get back tonight. Yeah, we'll sort it. we got to go. Yeah. See you tonight. See you both later. Day 1, Wednesday, 9.32. Location, Linda's room. Hi. Hiya. What's in the box? Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. You said you didn't have anything to wear to the party? Yeah. I didn't really have much time to grab anything besides my work clothes, some jeans and tops for lounging round in. Well, there's some dresses and stuff in there, might fit. I'm a little scared to ask, but are they yours? No. Oh, no! They're my mum's. She won't. She doesn't need them anymore. Oh, I can't. Yes, she can. I was just going to throw them out, but she'll be glad someone's getting some use out of them. Okay, I'll take a look. Good. 
They might need some work, but I'm sure Jenny and Raquel can help you spruce them up a bit. Thank you. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a date with some reality TV. Okay. Enjoy. Day one, Wednesday, 10.30. Location, living room. Don't be an idiot. Is he putting the world to right? Airtime TV annoys me so much. That's probably why I like it. <laughs> Are you off? Just thought I'd go for a walk. Well, if you go left at the main road, there's a post office and a couple shops. Go right and there's a 24-hour garage. Oh, I wasn't looking for anything in particular. Just fancied a wander to get my bearings. Sure thing. You get your phone on you. Do this ring if you get lost. Oh, thanks, Dad. See you in a bit. See ya. Day 1, Wednesday, 10.35, location, basement. Um, I'm detecting some form of temporal abnormality. It does not appear to be in this room, but it is very close, so uh, please watch out. Why lock an old wardrobe in the basement? Uh, how curious.
combination lock. <laughs> well, at least you're not searching for a key, 43. Day 1, Wednesday, 11.04. Location, Hidden Room. Still in the box. <sighs> I believe 43 that this is what they call irony. Day 1, Wednesday, 1802. Location, Raquel's room. Nineteen-ish. Okay, then. So, can I move again? Oh, yeah. All done. Good. I was beginning to feel like a Christmas tree. Ooh, that's a good idea. Where do we put the tinsel? And the baubles? We're not sticking baubles on her. Hmm. Tinsel? No. Uh, <laughs> you two are nuts. Why, thank you. We try our best. <laughs> So, uh, these clothes are Tom's mum's? Yeah. Is she... Dead? Oh, no, no. She's in a care home. A mess. Quite bad from what Tom says. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. She used to be a photographer. Bloody good one, too. Now she can't even hold a camera steady. Is there anything I can do? Pay rent. Tom's always short on cash. That's why he does all the repairs and stuff himself. And that's why there's a certain builder's yard aesthetic to the house. <laughs> and a pool table in the basement. <laughs> yeah, that too. It's a bit weird, but if it makes Tom happy, why not? Plus, it helps us practice our hustling skills. And she does need the practice. Hey. Nineteen-ish. Okay, then. So, can I move again? Oh, yeah. 
All done. Good. I was beginning to feel like a Christmas tree. Oh, that's a good idea. Where do we put the tinsel? And the baubles? We're not sticking baubles on her. Mm. Tinsel? No. Oh, you two are nuts. Why, thank you. We try our best. <laughs> How did you two meet in the first place? Oh, wow, it was nearly three years ago. Fresh as wheat, wasn't it? It was. So, we were drunk. Mm, naturally. In some dingy nightclub. The Banshee. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, we met, we danced, and then we went back to my place. Wait a minute. You two. Oh, no. <laughs> Not in the end. Though that was definitely my intention. You say the sweetest things. <laughs> so what happened? We just ended up talking. Must have been some talk. We both seen death up close when we were really young. I watched my mum die when I was eight. Cancer. And I saw my best friend get run over when I was seven. Oh my God, that's horrible. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It was a long time ago. Yeah, there's been lots of therapy and drugs since then. It was nice to meet someone who, who understood. And I figured a new best friend was better than a one night stand. Aww. I bet it'd have been good though. You're doing great. Day one, Wednesday. 2131. Location, then in Jenny's room. Someone there. God, I need some sleep. That seemed a little odd to me, forty three. Day 1, Wednesday, 23.15, location, kitchen. Balls. Thought I heard someone skulking around in there. Sorry about that. That's okay. I wasn't asleep or anything. How's she doing? No change, really. But anyway, distract me. What's going on with you? You look like crap. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's mostly just the usual. So, long hours dealing with hypochondriacs, drunks, and people who accidentally sat on cock bottles and now can't get them out? Um, yeah. There's not enough money, not enough staff, the government's trying to privatise you by the back door, and generally, you just don't feel like you're making an actual difference. I couldn't have put it better myself. Oh, you have done. Frequently. Though you, you use longer words. Okay. Well, this time, there's an extra cherry on top. Mm hmm go on. 
Remember a few months back, I talked about, you know, working overseas? Uh, ah, one of those places that uh, sent doctors into war zones. Yeah, well, it's not just war zones, but, well, yeah. Anyway, I applied. I never thought I'd get anywhere, but I just got an offer. Whoa, that's great. Or is it? I mean, it's what I really want to do, and, and I think I could actually help people, but... Jen. <sighs> yeah. She can't exactly come with me to, you know, Somalia or Afghanistan, can she? How long is it for? Nine to twelve months, minimum. <sighs> so... What are you gonna do? I don't know. Drink? Who? Why not? Day one, Wednesday, twenty three thirty one. Location Half Landing.